How you doing everybody? It's your natural bodybuilding specialist, Kelly Brown. In today's video, we're going to do an in-home leg workout. So we're going to do three exercises today. We're going to keep it fairly simple. We're just going to focus on doing calves, hamstrings, and quads. I know a lot of times, you know, we don't tend to work out in-home or maybe you may go to the gym and want to use some of these exercises for, you know, what to do in the gym. So maybe take one or two of these exercises and add them to your regular gym routine. I'm sure you're going to do your regular hardcore leg workout sometime this week. But if you need to have something additional to do, or if you need to see um, which other exercises you may have been missing maybe, or may have been skipping out on for these past couple of weeks or years or so, or something just to add back into your regimen, I'll show you how to do them. And today we're going to cram them into a quick 15, 20 minute session to make sure that we're working legs and still having an effective workout. Um, so let's follow along and let's get started. today is going to be the donkey calf raises and so we're going to do calves quads and hamstrings what i have here is my sissy squat machine if you guys want to do a different exercise for the quads or if you want to do something different a different variation of a squat for your quads you can but today i'm actually going to be using my sissy squat machine to do my quads and so you can follow along or you can just do body weight squats later on um, and then the third exercise we're going to be doing is just um, for your hamstrings and so you're going to need either a 40 pound kettlebell or dumbbell or maybe a 25 pound because we're going to be doing a single leg stiff legged deadlift okay anyway all right let's get started we don't have much time so let's get the ball rolling set a timer on your on your phones let this video run with calves we're going to start with doing four sets of 20. try to stand on something give yourself a little bit of elevation so that you can let your heels hang all the way to the bottom. Step on with your toes, let your heels hang as far as they can to the bottom. And you're gonna press up as high as you can to the top. Um, if you don't have anything to, to elevate your legs on, or elevate your heels on, your toes on, you know, find something, maybe get an extra shoe or stand on a towel or something like that or whatever. Just give yourself a little bit of additional support and then um, you're just gonna bend over, hold on to something. So if you wanna hold on to the couch or something like that, you can. And then um, you're just gonna be doing your calf raises like that. So first is donkey calf raises, four sets of 20. All right, let's get started. All right, that's the first set. That's the first set of 20. Hopefully you feel those. You wanna go all the way to the bottom. Push your toes all the way to the top. So press as high as you can at the top. Really get your calves to stretch at the height, all right? So four sets of 20, make sure that each one of those reps counts. Don't just bang them out. One, two, three, four, five. Just make sure you're taking your time. Give each set one second, okay? Go up, hold for a second then let it down. Go up, hold it for a second, then let it back down. All right, let's get back to it. Sets. 
getting there. So making good time. I'm doing four sets. Hopefully your calves are feeling like my calves are feeling good. Okay. Three sets. One more. Cats burning right now. If anything, your calves are gonna be sore. And if you want to, when you're doing your calf raises, remember if you want to do have stiff legs when you bend over, you can a little bit. If you want to bend your knees a little bit, you can. That works different parts of your calves. Um, we're not gonna get too deep into that today. Today isn't a calf lesson, but. Whatever's comfortable for you, make sure you're just getting your four sets of 20. Make sure you're squeezing and holding at the top, all right? All right, last set. It. Calf raises are done. Next, we're going to move into some stiff legged deadlifts. Single leg at that. So, if you want to, don't be afraid to hold on to something. All right, I know a lot of times we're like, oh, single leg, single leg. Single leg is good stuff. Like, if you can work on your balance and your flexibility, that's good. Everybody doesn't have balance and flexibility. And of course, it's great to work on that. But today, we're actually using weights and such. And so, this isn't the time to be doing too much balance and trying to hold, focus on. If you can, if you have great balance, try not to hold on. If you need just to tap something to keep you in place, that's fine too, okay? We're working on aesthetics today, not like mechanics and all that stuff. And so make sure all you're doing is keep your knees bent slightly, all right? You have one leg stiff this way. All you're gonna do is bend down, holding on to the plate, and pull back up. That's it. You don't have to come all the way back up to stretch back out or anything like that. We're just gonna be coming down and then coming back up halfway and real short bobs, okay? So probably just 20 from here to here and then we'll switch legs, same thing on the side, 20 here to here, all right? And we're just gonna do three sets of 20. Hamstrings require a lot of reps, just like biceps, just like shoulders, just like triceps. sets. Hamstrings should be nice and warmed up by now. If you want to, you want to play with your variations of angles, it's okay to open your legs up some. 
You want to open your toes, up your feet up some. When you're doing your deadlifts, that's okay. You want to keep your toes changed one direction. Play with the angles. As you play with the angles, that'll hit more parts of your hamstrings, okay? More parts of your glutes or whatever else it is that you're trying to target. And make sure that you're focused on actually squeezing. You don't need a lot of weight for this. You just need to do a lot of reps and to squeeze and to focus on the areas that we're trying to work. At first, it's not gonna seem like a lot. As we start to do it, then it's gonna be like, oh, okay, we did a little something today. So that's all you want. Not trying to kill yourself every time we're in the house. Quick workout, not trying to be broken down. I know you guys are already doing your legs anyway. So this is a supplemental leg workout, all right? All right, let's get back to it. Okay, hamstrings are hurt. We got one more set, and we'll move on to quads. All right, last set. Okay, that's three sets. Lastly, we're gonna move into our sissy squats. And um, with the sissy squats, we're gonna keep it fairly simple. Well, you guys are gonna be doing your body weight squats. Fairly simple, you don't need anything. We don't need any weights. We're just gonna be working on just the mechanics of doing a squat. You don't need to go down too deep. Find a spot where your body may need to get the most um, working. So as you're Squatting down and flexing, start to feel where you need to be at. And once you find that area, that's where we're going to be focusing when we're doing our squats, okay? So if it's just there, if it's doing a full deep squat, whatever it is, work on that. If it's legs close together, work on whatever you need to work on on your own end, okay? But right now, I'll be doing my sissy squats while you're following along, doing your own variation of your own personal squat, okay? And so what we're going to do is four sets of 25, see how we're feeling. We'll start up there. Hopefully that's enough. Thank you. 
All right, that's my first set of 25. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. Nice, the quads are nice and relaxed. Warmed up, go ahead and flex them. Flex your quads a little bit in between your sets. I know yours may be better than mine. I'm working on it, give me some time. Flex them a little bit. Flex out your hamstrings a little bit, stretching. Right. Let's get back to the business, all right? two workouts already, two exercises already, so let's catch your breath and finish this one out. We're almost done, guys. If you need to pause the video, get some water, go ahead, pause it, get some water, do something, but let's get back to it. All right, let's go. Third set. That's it. That was our leg workout for the day. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you like those exercises, um, hopefully they benefited you in some way. Hopefully you're able to use those. If you have been using them, great. If you haven't been, maybe incorporate some of those things. Um, I'll put the link in the description to where I got my equipment below for you guys who are interested. Um, make sure you comment. Let me know how this workout went for you. If you like workouts like these or if you want to get more workouts like these, comment below what you want to see next. And Hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout. Share it with somebody who you think may also enjoy it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.